Scoot on, guys. Just hanging out. Underhand grip up, pull down. All right, it's still recording. Come on, guys. <laughs> Gotta do, uh, do more than the body weight. Actually, yeah, screw it. We're weighing about 162, 163 right now. Man, 165 ish. Here we go. When it's more than your body weight, I like to kind of get a little jump in it. Like this. Curling in the squat rack. Not much of a crowd, so it's okay. It is currently about seven o'clock and we're about to have ourselves dinner. Got our little baby over here. Have you guys ever seen Worth Miller's? This kind of reminds me of that. But uh, okay, we got a bowl. Got our Chipotle right here. Love Chipotle. Check out the size of this, guys. Um, check this out. So I'm about to show y'all. Okay, here we go. This burrito right here. Here's my hand in comparison. Here's my keys. That's comparison size. But um, all I've had today was I went, to, I went to a steakhouse earlier. I had some chicken, asparagus, and like, you know, steakhouses, they barely serve you anything. So I had like that many mashed potatoes. <laughs> it was like nothing. But uh, economy tip 101 when you go to Chipotle, if you go during prime hours, so if you go from like 5 to like 7 30 ish, when there's a lot of people going in, if you ask for double meat, I'm gonna sound really cheap here. If you ask for double meat, I wanna say there's about a 50% chance, from my experience, of them not charging you for double meat. Because they get so lost with the crowd and everything. So if you ask for double meat, they have sections. So the first section, you do like the you know rice and beans and uh, protein source. And the second section, you do the salsas, the cheese and everything. So a lot of times they'll kind of get lost and they'll just forget to charge you. So this whole burrito right here was only like six $6.97, I believe. Under $7, I'm not sure exactly what the price was, but under $7 for all that food. So that's my main meal for the day. Um, that's kind of how I do it. I've been doing it recently. And I'm gonna enjoy this, guys. And yeah, so I will see you on a little bit. About three weeks prior to this footage, I was squatting, I wanna say either 245 or 255 pounds for one set of five or six reps. And this footage, which was filmed on November 30th, I squatted 295 pounds for five reps. So that's about a 40 or 50 pound increase in about three weeks. And um, yeah, needless to say, my strength is really shooting up right now. Largely, in fact, due to my, uh, my men's physique competition that I did, my strength on my compound movements really took a hit because I decided to do that show last minute. And uh, my cut was pretty drastic, which I do not really recommend to anybody. But regardless, I did it and my strength took a hit. So now it is really coming back. Uh, full speed every single time I step in the gym. I'm hitting PRs getting stronger either You know pushing heavier weight or uh, doing more reps with that given weight. So um, I'm loving these strength gains and that goes for everything. You know my squats are going up my bench is going up My uh, overheads going up and everything my pull-ups are going up. So uh, here you're seeing a Brand new Gymshark t-shirt. I really like their new line uh, their new t-shirts and tank tops not stringers tank tops So go check them out guys, but here, we were doing some good old calf phrases. Uh, see the calf phrases, trying to make our calves grow. Uh, if you guys have small calves genetically, you know the struggles and difficulties that come along with trying to grow the calves. It seems like every body part grows and they just refuse to. So it just makes it look even more disproportional, but not giving up hope, guys. It's a life mission of mine to get them pretty big. So um, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of this video. As we are uh, doing some Christmas decorating, today is November 30th, 2013, and uh, here is our traditional dancing Santa Claus. He is, uh, how tall is he? 
I want to say he's like four feet tall, but check this out. In the box over here, we got uh, the decapitated Santa right here. And you just uh, hook it up right here. Here's dad. Hey dad, you pick it up real quick. How many years you had it? We've had this for what? Five, no, more than that. More than Seven five, years, eight years. We were little. But we're going to turn it on and see, uh, see, see, what, see what Nala does. So here we go. Every year. He's like midget Santa right now, and then he uh, he grows a little bit. Nala, Nala, come here. Hey, come here. Nala, come here. Come on. You know she did bad. Yeah. Nala peed in the house, guys. So that's why she's kind of hiding. She got she got yelled at over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Alright, ready? Do it. Nala, look, Nala. Whoa. Turn it on, turn it on. Who is it? <laughs> Nala, who is it? <laughs> who is it, man? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's it. He's done. Good. Over here we got the Christmas trees. Good boy, good boy. Turn it on, turn it on. Come on, Anna. Good boy, look. Good boy. Come on. Come on, look. Come here. What? What? Can you see the way your mama has her? So you always turn the dark side to the back.